So coming up to a week of DLC 4 being released, today I bring you what in my opinion are the 5 best legendaries this DLC offers. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you enjoy your stay here and would like to show your support, hitting that like button truly helps out and subscribe if you like what you see and want to see more. So within this DLC 4 there are 15 new legendaries, so to be honest breaking them down to a top 5 wasn't too hard, so let's get into it people. In at number 5 we have nothing other than the prompt critical. So this new torque pistol is a world drop and drops offering any element. Its dedicated boss drop is evil Lilith who is located upon Castle Crimson. So this torque pistol is actually in my opinion one of the better ones this game now offers, torque pistol wise. What it does uniquely is, subsequent stickies combine for damage and radius and this is why it's much better to use that sticky projectile firing mode over the standard impact firing mode it offers. Using this within the right build sees it doing some crazy things and when I first tested this I was limited as to what I had on my PC but now being back on Xbox I can say for sure it's a much better weapon than I first originally thought. Using this with my lazy Zane build, yes for sure it isn't the most powerful pistol I've ever used in a game, but it's far from the worst, and it's one I do recommend you at least checking out, and it's why it's at my number 5 spot. Ok so in at number 4 we have the lovable rogue. This shock only tog assault rifle is a world drop across the mind of Krieg, but its dedicated boss drop is none other than Evil Brook who can be located upon Castle Crimson. So this weapon, where to start? Well if I'm honest before this I wasn't too keen on Torg ARs, for the most part they just seem the same. This though for me changes that and my opinion on them. So what this weapon is, is an amazing ranged shield depleting animal. Yes obviously there are better weapons in the game for taking that shield off enemies, but one would argue do they look this good when doing it? Because this spectacle is caused via this weapon's speciality. Gyro jets have a chance to spawn homing missiles, and while these look great, they work great and are truly effective for sure. Now the lovable rogue I don't feel will ever be the centerpiece to a build, but it's certainly a great backup weapon, and for this reason it's at number 4 on my top 5 list. Ok so moving on and in at number 3 we have the Major Kong, now this COV launcher is an exclusive drop to Psycho Reaver and it doesn't drop anywhere else in the game, Psycho Reaver is obviously the last boss located upon Valhalla. It does drop offering incendiary corrosive shock and radiation which is great and its speciality is, charging a weapon equals more damage and more ammo consumed and it fires out a slow travelling projectile like a rocket. But that damage people, the damage this thing is capable of is off the charts and you can see that from its item card, with damage upwards of 200k easy. And although because of the way it works its DPS probably isn't as good as other launchers in the game with a much lower damage output, it's still a great all round unique weapon for what it's needed for. What it also does and it doesn't state on its item card nor have I seen anyone else mention it is, direct hits seem to spawn missiles that track other targets, so it has secrets too. And I noticed this by accident fighting off against Gigamind, so that's a cool addition to add. But yeah all in all I feel this is a great weapon, not the best and most efficient launcher in the game, but it's definitely one of the best legendaries I had DLC for in my opinion. Ok so in at number 2 we have nothing other than the plus ultra. Now this is a shield and originally I was going to make a top 5 legendary weapons list but I feel this definitely needs a mention for sure. So this plus ultra is a world drop across Krieg's mind but its dedicated boss drop is Dr Benedict upon the benediction of pain. What this shield does as standard without those additional benefits from those two prefixes is 25% chance to absorb bullets as ammo and increase action skill cooldown rate by 30% for several seconds. Now I have started using this on my level 65 lazy zane build and well it's just an unreal shield. And that's because it has a hidden benefit not many people know about. And that is that this shield doubles your health, so when equipped you get an additional 100% health. And this works for your digiclone too, so that's cool. And I guess it might work with other action skills other Vault Hunters offer like the Iron Bear and possibly Flax Pets even. So yeah, I noticed this ages ago and thought everyone knew about it, but I've only seen one video mentioning the fact that this is an actual thing and it has hidden perks stated in the title, so I guess not everybody knew about this side of the shield. Well now you do. But all in all, this has made a great difference to my build, 
And because of how much this shield offers, I feel it definitely deserves a place here. And that's why it's at my number two spot. Okay, so moving on and in at number one, and my favourite legendary out of DLC 4 is nothing other than the Blood Starved Beast. So this Blood Starved Beast is a dull SMG which I believe comes off in all elements. It's an exclusive drop from Evil Lilith who's located upon Castle Crimson and while in my opinion it's a must get, you can only get it from her by the way, isn't a world drop. But yeah it's definitely a must get because this thing is truly a little monster. Now this thing comes in a 2x or 3x variant and has a decent damage output at the same time. With a rapid fire rate and great magazine size also, this thing is truly something to be reckoned with. Now its shots penetrate those targets and have a chance to explode and while using it anywhere this game offers, as long as that enemy isn't immune against the element it's shooting, this thing tears those enemies apart. Now for me farming this it seemed like a rare drop, for you I hope that isn't the case, but I really wasn't having much luck with it. But to be honest guys, it's worth every second farming this until you get that perfect anointment and road version for your build. It truly is a great little SMG and this is by far the best legendary to come out of DLC 4 in my opinion and it's one I recommend you must get. And yes guys, there we have it, my 5 favourite and in my opinion best DLC 4 legendaries. If your list would differ, let me know down below in that comment section, actually just tell me your favourite out of DLC 4. What is it? Let me know. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video, I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.